Leos, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a look at the next 72 hours for you. Any information you need will be in the description. And if you want to see future forecasts for me, make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, especially if you want to see my lives where I take personal reading questions and you can pull up and get a question from me on the spot. But anywho, let's go ahead and get straight into the reading. So first card we have is the Ten of Cups. Family could be a huge annoyance during this time frame. There could be certain family members that are bringing issues, problems to you that have nothing to do with you at all. Uh, there could also be issues with the person you have children with where there could be, you know, drama around the person that they're dating or drama around the person that you're with and then, you know, they're causing issues when it comes to your current relationship. This could be meddling family members to some degree. But something with family is quite an annoyance during this time frame. You also could be in a space of asking yourself important questions like, have I been doing things based off of what makes me truly happy? And if you haven't, this could be a time frame where you're taking notice of that and just trying to be proactive when it comes to considering your needs, especially if you've been maybe not doing that for some time. Energy around my Leo for the next 72 hours. You could be in a space to where you're questioning if you wanna stay in your hometown, in your home area. You could be feeling like a change in scenery, a change in environment could not only help you like financially, but could help you in terms of just meeting new people with the knight of wands and the judgment if you've been feeling just burnt out this could be a time frame where again epiphanies are happening you're starting to get this resurgence of energy the judgment is literally like coming up from the day so if you've just been out of it i think the next 72 hours could offer you maybe this like epiphany or this wake-up call that gets you out of this slump also, if you've been very hesitant on making some sort of like business move or just big move for yourself in general, this could be a time frame in which you get the answers that you need or you come to a conclusion on what you're going to do. I also get this irritation <laughs> that's coming up. There could be an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo individual that's... Um, very scattered in how they show up in your life. One second, they're full force coming at you, showing interest, showing effort, and then other moments just pulling away. And in them resurfacing, it's this question of if it's genuine, if this person is just playing a game, or if this person is actually like back to stay, like to consistently show up. If you're tired of a work environment, you could start to question if you have any more patience to stay there. Uh, you could be rethinking things completely when it comes to a career path. Again, a work environment. Now for my, my Leos where your intuition has been telling you exactly what to do, but maybe you've been in this space of just like overly questioning yourself, overly doubting yourself. This is a time frame in which your intuition is going to be screaming at you more than it ever has been. And this isn't the time to be getting into the space of questioning your intuition or doubting your intuition. Also with the Seven of Cups in reverse, if there is any illusions or facades people are putting up in front of you to make things seem one way when it's really another, the illusion is going to fall. Okay, Seven of Cups in reverse is like the reality is this. I can't pull the, the wool over your eyes. So if you are questioning if someone's coming back around and their intentions are, are pure, or if their intentions are to repeat what they've done in the past. I mean, you know this person for who they are. The illusion has already fell for you to be able to see them. It's just a matter of letting this person show you how smart they think you are <laughs> through 
them just doing them like let me explain that differently you want to allow people to show you who they think you are or what they think your level of intelligence is by what they think they can pull over your eyes so you never want to point out the fact that you notice the things that you notice about certain people's behaviors you want to allow them to show you who they are play dumb so that you can really get a full picture of how this person may perceive you and how honest they are and what they think that they can get away with i hope i explained that in a way that made sense anywho leos what is the general energy around them for the next 72 hours yeah so home environment is also a huge concern if you do live with a partner a roommate family member whoever this may be where the environment is really really tense or the person you live with is on the defense or you constantly have to defend yourself because of you know stuff that happens it's important that you don't let your whole entire mood be influenced by this over this time period what are the final messages for my Leos they need to hear for the next 72 hours? Oh, wait. Sorry, this deck. Leos, what are the final messages they need to hear? Have confidence that you can make progress. Well, all hope is not lost. In order for us to make progress, we have to believe that we can. Because if we don't believe it, then we won't even take the first step. But if you're in a space of being very doubtful about your ability to make progress, understand that emotions, feelings do pass. And you have to give yourself an opportunity to move forward and understand that there's always another opportunity to be had, irregardless. We also have be still and listen. Your heart will hear what it needs. So yeah, if anytime you're in doubt, sit still, allow the answers to come to you naturally. Okay, time reveals all literally over time. We start to, you know, get on the other side of our perspective. You know, things come out that weren't apparent to us previously. But also our intuition gets a lot more sound or we can hear our intuition more outside of the noise of our emotions and, and temporary anxiety. What's the advice for my Leos? Okay, we have angel numbers and we also have journey. So it's important that you are paying attention to the signs during this time frame. A lot of times we ask for our spiritual team, we ask for God, we ask for the universe to show us the answers or the way. And we have to be able to first identify what's a sign and then what's not. I also see with journey, it's important that you're respecting the path that you're on. We don't necessarily know where our path is leading us. We only have this close, you know, zoomed in perspective on our lives because we're experiencing it. We're literally in it. So understand that there's twists and turns on any path, on any journey that you're on challenges good times but it's important that we respect that <laughs> and we don't try to you know discredit or or doubt or veer off because we are experiencing you know challenges along the way but this is what i see i wish you the best of luck and i will talk to you in the next one